All right, what is up everyone? Thanks for joining me for another video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you already are, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Let's get into this video. So this video is going to be a somewhat necessary thing to do to your Chevy Colorado ZR2, which is parked right there, if you're going up an entire size. So if you're already lifted, if your front's lifted already, I mean, you will clear the tires, but if you're stock, you're gonna have to trim. So this whole video is gonna be about trimming the fenders. So the main parts of the fenders that's gonna get trimmed, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the rears, but definitely doing the fronts right now. The main part is back over here that's gotta get trimmed. So the kit we have, um, you can do this without a kit. There are videos on YouTube about trimming your fenders without using this kit, but I decided let me use this kit. It finishes off every, it finishes off everything very nice. Um, comes with templates, kind of foolproof, little, little confusing looking at the stuff. Gonna have to go on the computer, look through the instructions to make sure everything is in the right spot. But this, it says it should take four to six hours to do this. Hopefully we do this four or less, hopefully less. But we're gonna get into this. Uh, let's show you the kit, and then we'll show you the tires that are going on. You're not gonna see the wheels yet because that's those are getting mounted tomorrow. Probably gonna be a separate video. Well, it's definitely gonna be a separate video. Then I'll try to get you on the tripod to show you the area that will rub. So this is the kit. It's from AEV. These are the parts that comes with it. These are your parts that come with it. You got, um, yeah. There you go. Hardware kit. These are all your templates for all different all different types. This is ZR2, pre 2021 Colorado. There's bison if you have a bison already. But that's what comes with it. You got the templates. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna go double check the instructions online to make sure everything is pretty uh, going in the right spot. You could probably figure it out without it, but since I'm cutting the since I'm cutting the fenders up, I'm just gonna look at the instructions so you do it once right. So that's the kit, and let's look at the tires we have are BF Goodrich KO2s. Stock size is 31 inches, we're going up to 33 inches. This kit's 433. Um, I think I've actually read that you can go up to a 34 with that, but we're doing 33s. The tires, not sure if I'm gonna mount it with the white letters out or in yet. Probably gonna go out, but yeah. Let's try to get it centered. So, should be about an inch on each side, and should be um, about an inch lower, I guess. But, there we go. So I'm gonna show you the area that will rub, which is, I believe, right here. Plenty of space that way. Don't come this way. I mean, as you see it turn in very close right there. All right, so now that we ran over the quick basics of why we're doing this and what we're using to do this, I'm gonna go check the instructions out really quick. I'm gonna do the other side to make sure I get everything to make sure I do everything right in the first place, then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'll be right back. All right, so passenger side's done. Took a little while. Not gonna lie, it's not that hard to do, but it's pretty annoying to do, so. I'll show you the passenger side, then we'll show you how to do the driver's side, I guess. So that's what we're gonna end up with. A little dark in here, but. But yeah, gonna do the driver's side. Um, you don't, you don't have to take the wheel off. Um, I actually just did the other side with the wheel on, but uh, took the wheel off to make it a little easier to film. This is a T10. Um, I actually don't know. I don't think that's the 100% correct size for this, but gotta remove that There's one here. Um, there's actually supposed to be a second one there. I think I'm missing that one. Nothing else, then we're just gonna 
pull the fender away. Fender fire. Boom, easy. Try to move you a little closer. So this is the, the spat. You're gonna have to take this off too. That's off. Now, what we gotta do. Let me get something to hold this back. This is what it's gonna look like. There's this big uh, matting in there. Pull that back. It's gonna be dirty, but it is what it is. This is the section we wanna deal with. You're gonna wind up cutting basically, um, I think it's like from up here, right next to that, taking out like a chunk, maybe about like that, straight back. So this tab has to get cut out too. So let's go look at the template. So, one good thing, I mean, you can get them on the website also, but this is, this comes with it is templates on where to cut. So this is for the front left side, left hand. Got to look this up, pre-2021 Colorado front fender. That's the trim. So we're going to cut this out along the dotted line. All there. This is arts and crafts time. We're going to cut this out. Then after that, we're going to have to do the front flare trim template, left hand side. Um, and just in case you get confused with right and left hand, they even give you a diagram of which side the truck is on. Left hand. Um, this is the right hand, shows you. So there you go. Trim this up, tape it up. This is what you're gonna end up with. Uh, you could leave a little bit more if you want, but you're gonna have to tape this on, so. Let's go tape this on. So we got it taped up. Um, you can see under the painter's tape, there's the hole there. And if you feel it, that lines up with the hole. There's a hole here that you want to line up there. And then this hole back here um, from underneath. So, so you make sure all three loads line up, then you have where you got to cut. So across in there, then down like that. This, um, if you get this line good enough, you'll actually save all of your hole there. Um, on the other side, I cut like a little edge of the hole off, but your fender still clips to that. So your fender flare still clips to that. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you clip a little bit off, but try to line that one up pretty good. And then down. And straight down um, these don't have to be perfect because it's gonna get covered but you know get it pretty close and next thing you're gonna want to do you set your bracket up like this there's a picture there's a diagram in there but obviously the, you have the little square there you shove the pin through you sh shove the clip through then you should have a round hole there that's how you look this is gonna go here Like that, you gotta mark uh, three holes that one and then two on the bottom. You're gonna drill that out with a quarter inch drill bit. Then we're gonna spray paint this up so we don't have to worry about any rust. <laughs> Actually wound up actually wound up switching it up. I spray painted. I held the spray can down into a into a uh, plastic cup and then used the paintbrush. Cut that on there nice and thick. While that dries, I'm gonna cut out the template for the fender flare. <laughs> All right, two things. Um, first, 
when you cut this with whatever you do, um, don't grab the plastic right away because it's lava hot. Wasn't thinking, burned my finger. So that's one thing, pay attention to that. Second, um, put as much effort into this cut as you can because you're gonna see this. Make sure, you, make sure you put effort into this one. And also this little tab right here, on the other side, I cut a little too deep and cut a little edge of this tab off. So you're better off cutting it a little shallower than you think. Well, not than you think, but make sure you line up the, the, the template nice. Then you cut this and then you'll end up with the full clip. I had to drill the middle hole. Um, I actually didn't do it on the passenger side, but drilled the middle hole here. Got the little flap. That's how we're looking. Now let's do the flare on. I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna loosen these a little bit. Try to slide that up, just so that fits right in the center there. Then you gotta drill a hole at the bottom of this and put a pop clip in and you're done. Let's see the difference now. All right, and that's that. So I decided I'm only doing the front. I actually asked around on the Facebook groups. A couple of people said the Rear is not necessary, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, when we go off-roading, if I, uh, when I go off-roading soon, if I run into any issues, then I'll do the trim. But for right now, I don't need to trim it. Just fronts, that's all we're doing. One little gripe with this kit. Um, when you go on the website for AEV and check it out, there's no pictures of how this actually is. It, there's a picture of like a front three, uh, Three quarter, a front three quarter angle of a bison and there's like the parts that come with it. There's no like before and after of the trim kit so I, did, I actually I couldn't find that much info and pictures on how it looks before and after so um, that's one thing. A little, little annoying I couldn't find it. Let, let's look at it again. So look at it again. Just this edge is trimmed here. And it's a little dark to see the brackets, but brackets, the little plate to uh, finish it off is nice. Um, can't complain there. Kit is actually pretty decent. A little, anno little annoying they don't give you the instructions with the, with the kit. I mean, everyone has a computer. They could just go look at the computer to follow along with the instructions. Not everyone has a printer, so. Other than that, kit's not hard to do. Just a little annoying to do. It is what it is. It's done. I never have to do it again. And that's it. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this video. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two or I cleared anything up for anyone that was looking to do this kit, do this conversion, cutting kit, whatever you want to call it. Thanks again. Thanks for joining me. Peace out. Leave comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe and uh, do off-road things. So next video should be wheels and tires.